What up, YouTube? Back with another quick unboxing. This is going to be my new Wi-Fi system, my new Wi-Fi setup. Uh, this one is coming from Cisco Meraki. It's a business Wi-Fi suite. Um, <clears throat> this one is a lot more technical uh, than I. It, this is outside of my scope of knowledge in terms of uh, setting up this type of Wi-Fi system and knowing exactly what's going on. This is their new Wi-Fi 6 system. Um, it's the MR5. Here, we'll just get into the unboxing. So, um, I've just opened everything up. Let's check out the packaging. Okay, cool. So, you can see I have, uh, there's about, I have one more box actually. I'm not sure. So, there's one more box that's coming. I ordered two routers this is the router right here i can just tell by the shape of the actual box so we can see right here we have the mr55 um let's see and everything is packaged in here real nice um clean setup boom there's a router now me i have a, a home business and this is probably overkill for my home business, but um, you know, I wanted to future proof myself. I don't want any more issues with my Wi Fi, and um, this should do it. It's definitely overkill for what I would need in an apartment, but I may have the money, so I'm gonna do it. So, inside of it, you get your access point looks like we have an instruction manual right here Meraki MR55 now to, to give you a quick note this system is not cheap um, I spent about four grand for everything that I ordered um, I have uh, let's see I have two access points I have just give me a second I forget what every, uh, everything that I ordered so this right here looks to be some type of mounting bracket system or these are just screws actually i'm not sure what these ones are though figure that out in a, in a minute okay so this is actually the plate that you place on your wall and this is how you mount the system that's kind of dope it has a a leveler installed well implemented on the on the bracket so that should make it easy for the setup um, a bunch of, I guess, instructions and guides here. Not sure what all of that means just yet. We'll get into that in a second. And I think that's everything that comes in the box. All right, so we'll move on. All right, so what is this? This right here is, uh, I guess this is some type of power cable or power source. Okay, so yeah, that's what that is. So, it's a power cord. We'll keep it moving. These are also power cords. Um, this is for the access point. Now, you don't need these uh, power cords just because um, these access points do feature power over Ethernet. So your Ethernet cable can power your... Um, your access point so that was something that i had to learn there's a lot more that i'm going to have to learn just because like i said all of this is a lot more technical than what i'm used to i'm used to residential or just regular consumer uh, wi-fi systems um, that's another power cable for the access points like i said i have two of them coming the other one is going to be delivered tomorrow um, and then this right here is the ms120 this is um uh, a networking switch that's what it is i couldn't remember what it was so we'll unbox this okay so this is a lot bigger than i had anticipated so this is an eight port here let's unpackage some of this stuff now i like the design on this as this brush i guess aluminum 
uh, metal design has eight um, uh, gigabit ethernet ports it has SFP uplinks if you choose to use those again a lot of this stuff is a lot more technical than what I'm used to it looks like we have ventilation on the side dope so I'm gonna get all of this set up we're gonna see how everything runs we're gonna test out the Wi-Fi speeds and hopefully this is my last time upgrading my Wi-Fi for, you know, hopefully the next five to 10 years. Well, until whenever they drop the new Wi-Fi standard, um, this should hold me over until then. Like I said, I have another access point coming, um, but I have a home business. So having solid Wi-Fi performance is important to me. Um, I have a lot of streaming that goes on. I have a Plex server. I have kids. They're streaming from tablets to TVs to, you know, they have <clears throat> multiple game systems in one room, multiple TVs in one room. I have a TV in the living room. I don't have standard cable. I have wireless or I'm sorry, internet cable through AT&T. So it's nothing but internet service that's being utilized inside of uh, my place. Uh, but I got the two access points just because I do plan to move into a house pretty soon. And um, the house is gonna be pretty big. And I just need to make sure I'm covered all the way throughout the house. So um, just stay tuned, I'm gonna get this set up. I will make a follow up video once I get the other access point. And um, yeah, if you guys have questions, comments, leave them in the, you know, So I'll be back in a minute once I have everything set up and installed and we'll just give you a quick preview of, you know, what everything looks like. All right, I'll talk with you in a minute. All right, so I'll finish setting up everything uh, with the uh, Meraki, the Cisco Meraki. I know that this is probably overkill and um, I'm gonna show you what I have and what I've set up. So if we take a look back here, you can see that I have um, the MS120, which is a internet switch. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I have all my wire stuff going into there. Um, it has these little mountable plates that you can pull out. So I've mounted it to my wall. Um, this is the first switch right here. This is the MR55. If you want to know, this is the MR55. Then down there we have the MS120. The MR55 goes for about $1,800. Um, but I did get it on sale. Um, I paid about 1300. Well, all right, so here's the thing with the Meraki suite. You do have to have online licenses for each of the products. If you don't have the license, they will disconnect your product. Um, you can buy them for one year, three years, and up to five years. I think you can go even further, further than that, but um, I have mine set up for one year just because I wanted to try it out. Um, so I spent about, I would say almost 1500 for each of the access points. So I have one access point right there. If we go, I have another access point up there. Um, again, it's definitely overkill for my crib, um, but I'm future proof. When I do get, you know, more space, I will not need to buy any more uh, access, or, yeah, access points. I should be good to go with those two. Uh, my, throughput, my throughput is crazy. Um, I've already run some speed tests. I would show you on my phone, but I don't have another phone to record it. I typically use my son's phone. I don't want to record stuff on my phone, but uh, his phone is not here at the moment. So um speeds here i'm gonna just try to go into my settings so i'm getting speeds download speeds of over 600 uh, megabits per second upload speeds of over 900 megabits per second um this is using speedtest.net uh, speed um they do have this online interface i'm not going to go through it because i don't know what's safe and what's not safe for you guys to look at and that you know um i don't need anybody trying to get into my network or anything like that so this is their online interface right here um this is where you can manage everything you can manage all of your access points you can see right here it has wireless it has switch um, you can look at a bunch of different options again all of this is a lot more robust than what i'm used to um they have a ton of settings a ton of different things that you can you know uh um, manipulate 
on this website to make your access point uh, just the way you like it. So all in all, I can't say that it's worth it now. Well, as far as the performance, I would definitely say it's worth it. I get a full signal everywhere I go. Every client that I look at, you know, whether it's a tablet, everything has a full signal. Um, my throughput speeds is crazy. Latency is super low. I'm, I'm getting, you know, latency speeds of around three milliseconds. Um, so the performance is there. Um, we'll see how it performs over time. We'll see how everything holds up. Uh, pretty simple installation. Um, right now I have one SSID, but I have two access points. So, you know, all of my clients will connect to the access point that has the strongest signal. Um, here, let me go to the website. I want to show you guys some of the specs. So here, you'll see this is the access point that I purchased right here. I mean, you guys can kind of pause this and read some of the specs yourself. But you know, this is some big boy stuff. And um, like I said, I have a lot of streaming that goes on inside of my house. So definitely needed something that would, um, here, let's take a look at this data sheet. I don't know if this gives us a little bit more details. But yeah, if you want to check it out, go to Meraki.com. Again, this is the uh, router that I got, MR55. This is their big boy. It just came out. They also have an MR45. They have a bunch of different uh, access points, so you can you know grab the one that works for you. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be the end of the video. Those are my thoughts. I love the performance. I love the look of them. Uh, I love the ease of use. You know, everything was easy to set up. Um, so we'll see how it holds up over time until the next time I holler at you YouTube. I got a five.